Welcome! In this video tutorial, we're going to have a look at how to highlight duplicates in Excel in a column, multiple columns, or, if needed, throughout a data table of any size. Let's begin! Hello and welcome to EasyClick Academy. My name's Maria, and together with our EasyClick team, we're here to make sure you'll be able to use Excel in a quick and easy way, thanks to our digestible video tutorials. To highlight duplicates, first we need to select the relevant area. Here, we're going to begin with one column. In our case, it'll be column B, the column containing names. Let's click on the letter B here in the column header, and the whole column is highlighted. The same way we can extend the selection through two or more columns, or wherever we'd like to select cells for highlighting duplicates. Now, we'll work with one column only, so let's select column B, and let's move on. Once selected, we can highlight duplicates in the column by finding the section Styles and clicking on Conditional Formatting. Then we carry on to highlight cells rules and eventually select duplicate values. All duplicated values in column B have been highlighted. Here we've got names John, Amelia and Olivia. At the same time, a window has appeared where we can customize the highlighting. If we'd like to highlight unique values in the same column, we can simply switch from Duplicate to Unique right here. And here we go. Here are all unique values highlighted in column B. Let's switch back to Duplicate and take a look at how we can change the color formatting of the highlighted values. We can have them highlighted in red like this, or yellow like this, or even green. Or we can pick whichever option here suits us best. As soon as we pick the color, we confirm with OK and the duplicates get highlighted in the style we've chosen. Now let's see how we can remove the highlighting. Again, we go to the section Styles, click on Conditional Formatting, and find Clear Rules. Here we can decide to clear rules from selected cells or from entire sheet. We'll go for the entire sheet now because that way we don't need to select any part of the spreadsheet and the highlighting will be completely removed. And finally, we'll have a look at one last thing. To highlight duplicates throughout the data table, we need to select the whole table. We can do it by clicking here, on the upper left-hand corner, to select the whole sheet, which includes the data table. Then we follow the same steps as before. We go to Styles, select Conditional Formatting, click on Highlight Cells Rules, and then click on Duplicate Values. We'll keep the default color for highlighting, hit OK, and that's it. Duplicates have been highlighted throughout the table. To remove the highlighting, again, click on Conditional Formatting, then Clear Rules, and finally, Clear Rules from Entire Sheet, which will remove the highlighting across the data table. Following the same steps, we can highlight duplicates in one or multiple columns or throughout a data table. If you'd like to know how to remove duplicates from a data table, check out another video tutorial by EasyClick Academy. You can find the link in the description below. If you found this tutorial helpful, give us a like and watch other video tutorials by EasyClick Academy. Learn how to use Excel in a quick and easy way. Is this your first time on EasyClick? We'll be more than happy to welcome you in our online community. Hit that subscribe button and join the EasyClickers. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.